Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Cooking from a Can. Today we're going to be making chicken tikka masala, so an Indian food um, that's popular. Uh, it's got a nice sauce for uh, dipping your naan bread in. I did do a video on how to make naan bread. I'll have that pop up right here. So you can go uh, make your own homemade naan and then uh, you can use it for this recipe to sop up all that sauce. So we're first going to start with cutting up the chicken. We're just going to uh, dice it or cube it, uh, not too big but not too small. Um, you can, once it's marinated, you can skewer it and barbecue, uh, but today we're just going to fry it up in, in the pan. It's just a lot easier, it's less work, and it doesn't really affect the taste that much. So again, you just want to chop it up into cubes. Not, like I said, not too big, not too small. You want it to tenderize in the marinade. This is one of our favorites here. Jaden's been asking us for the last couple months to make it again. So I was like, sure, we'll make it and we'll film it. Show you guys how to make it as well. Super easy and uh, lots of flavor. So we're using about two pounds of chicken breast for this recipe for the four of us. We always make a little bit more because we like to have it for lunch the next day as a leftover because all, all that flavor just soaks right in. All right, so once you're done cutting up the chicken, we're gonna set that aside and then we're gonna get started on the marinade. For the marinade, we're gonna start with about one tablespoon of uh, fresh ginger. We're gonna cut that up. Again, a rough measurement. And then you wanna pull out your electric slap chop again. You're gonna love my nuts. Watch this. Almonds, walnuts comes with a cover. It's so easy, one finger. If I can do it with one finger, you guys can do it with your whole hand. Kids can do it. Get all nicely minced. All right, so one cup of yogurt. Just plain yogurt. You can use uh, Greek yogurt if you can find it. Uh, a little harder to find here in Costa Rica, so we just use a plain normal yogurt. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Two teaspoons of cumin. Two teaspoons of cayenne. So yeah, a little bit of spice in this. A uh, little bit of heat, not too bad, because the yogurt tones that down. And the bread, when you soften it up, that's gonna help uh, alleviate that heat. But, but it's not much. And then one teaspoon of cinnamon as well. Two teaspoons of just black pepper. And a little bit of salt. Just gonna mix that together. And put your chicken in there. And just even the it. And there you go. So now your marinade is done. You're gonna let that marinade in the fridge for at least an hour. Uh, we're gonna do it for a few hours just because we're gonna be making this for dinner tonight. Um, you can even make it up to the day before, throw it in the Ziploc bag and just let it marinate overnight. It's just gonna be a little more tender, a little more flavor. Uh, but yeah, minimum of an hour. Um, that's really all it needs because the, the spices that are in it. Yeah, we're gonna do that now. All right, so now that the chicken, myself, and Shayna have marinated for three hours, <laughs> as she's having wine over there, uh, we're gonna actually start cooking the meat. So we're just gonna um, put a little bit of oil in a pan. We're gonna cook this up again. Like I said, you can skewer it and barbecue it, but it's just as easy to fry it up in a frying pan and you're not really gonna notice a difference in flavor. We've done it both ways and it really didn't change any difference as far as the texture and things like that. So yeah, let's get cooking this. So we're just gonna cook it in a heavy bottom skillet. It 
So as you have your chicken cooking, uh, you can get your rice going. We use a rice cooker, so we just got that set up and it's running now. Uh, if you're using the old method with a pot, then you can get that on at the same time. So now that the chicken's done, if you're doing it in the pan and not on the grill, you're going to notice there's a lot of liquid, so you're going to want to strain that out, so we're going to do that right now. So we're going to need some garlic for the sauce, and typically your garlic comes like this, unless you can find it where it's already pre-skinned. <laughs> So you can do it the old method, where it's you got to pick it apart. So I used to see my mom do it. Pick it apart. Oh, put it down. Find a big knife. Not to bug you, mom, but this is how you did it. And then you do this, and you squish it, and then you peel it. Sometimes it comes off, sometimes it doesn't. That's crap. Let's do it the easy way. So have you guys seen this trick before, where you take two bowls, or you can use a jar with a lid? You get this out of the way. Dump your clothes in. Throw the lid on. Two same size bowls. And you shake it, it's gonna be loud. You can, if, you get, if you can't find it, this is an easier way of doing it. But see, like all of the skins have come off now. It's so much easier. Look at that. There's your lesson for the day. So now that we've got our garlic peeled, we're gonna, I, we like garlic, so we always put a little bit more. It's usually, the recipe I'm gonna sh have down below is for like one serving. This I'm tripling it because we really like it saucy. So I'm gonna put more garlic in, but you, if you read below, this is the, ingredient list and proportions for a single uh, serve for like a family of four. Um, but yeah, I'm just, we're just gonna throw a bunch of garlic here. Toss those aside. We're gonna get our electric slap chop. <laughs> and we're gonna mince this up. Okay, so now we're gonna take the same skillet. We're gonna put uh, three tablespoons of butter in there and the garlic. And then if you do want it spicy, you can add like jalapeno or Thai chili or some sort of pepper that you want. Uh, we're not gonna do that because the kids are eating it, but yeah, we're gonna start frying up the garlic and get the sauce going. Want your Spanish lesson for this video? Zooming on me. <laughs> Mantequilla is butter in Spanish. So now that your butter is melted, you're gonna add in your garlic. So now that that's fried up, you're gonna add in your cumin and you're gonna add in your paprika and mix those together. Now you're gonna to wanna to add in some salt. And you can see it's kind of turning into a paste. Now you wanna turn the element down to low and add your tomato sauce. And your heavy cream. Stir that together, we're gonna let it simmer now for about 20 minutes just to thicken up a bit.
Okay, so now that that has simmered down and thickened up, we're gonna add the chicken in and we're gonna let that simmer for another 10 minutes just to get that flavor into the chicken. You can really smell the uh, cinnamon and the cumin coming through now that that's all thickened up. One thing, don't forget to taste your food and then season it accordingly. Needs a bit more salt. Right, so you just want to put a little bit of rice in the bottom and then top it up with your chicken and your sauce and then you're going to want to uh, pair that with some of the naan bread that you made from our previous video. Let's give it a little cut. And there you go. You can also, if you have uh, fresh cilantro, you can top that up with some cilantro. Uh, we didn't have any available right now. Um, but yeah, just add a little more depth of flavor there. And yeah, bon appetit. <laughs> or as they say in Costa Rica, what do they say? Buen provecho. Huh? Buen they say buen provecho here in Costa Rica. Provecho. Still learning the Spanish. <laughs> All right, so if you liked the video, uh, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Hope you enjoy this uh, Indian food recipe. Uh, it's one of our favorites here. Jane again was asking for the last like month or whatever, two months. <laughs> When are we gonna have tikka masala? So I was like, well, I might as well make it and film it and share it with you guys so you can make it at home. Super easy recipe. Does take a little bit of time, but totally worth it. Um, yeah, we're gonna enjoy this now. Uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Ciao. You're also going to want to add in some salt, so about uh, a teaspoon, again, look at the uh, ingredients below and then you'll see what the ingredient list is. <clears throat> right, so now that the chicken has cooked, uh, if you're doing it in the pan, you're going to find there's a lot of liquid, so we're going to want to strain that in a hat. so we're still figuring it out. All right, so you just want to put a little bit of rice in the bottom and then top it with the chicken sauce, the masala part. Mm -hmm.